Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels. Lori here. Where are we at, Lori? We at Zamora. What is it? Zamora. Zamora? Is yeah, that... in Zamora. We're in uh, the state of Michlacan. Uh -huh. And uh, we've never visited here before. And probably most people haven't ever visited here before. It's not a Pueblo magic. It's not a magical town. It's not anything like that. Zach. But here's the catcher. It's actually the most dangerous city in Mexico. <laughs> is what and it was so clean. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is what we've heard. Now we heard this after we came here, but that wouldn't have made any difference anyways, because we try not to have that stop us from traveling. Here's a napkin, honey. Thank you. So what have you made here? Well, I make chicken stir fry. I have it in carrot, and then I have a little piece of salmon here. Okay. That's nothing on. So, hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is pretty simple. So it's a stir fry. Mm -hmm. I see the cabbage and the chicken. Yeah. Chicken in here, did you say? One chicken? Yeah, I'll give you a piece of chicken. Mm, thank you. <laughs> thank you for the haircut today. You're welcome. That was nice of you. It was mm. so shaggy. <laughs> Done. All right. What do you think? You be the judge of that. You know why? <laughs> Thank you, Lori. You're welcome. I'm feel about ten pounds lighter. <laughs> okay. 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 Goodbye. <laughs> hey, if you need a barber, free. I can cut your hair, but no guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun trip, huh? Oh. Zamora. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yeah, I think it's good to, you know, have somebody go with us. Yeah, that was fun. We it, took, it was fun. Especially taking Christina, Robert, both Mexicans, so uh, yeah, they could interpret and mm -hmm. help us with a lot of things. Mm. Now, that was funny. What we heard when we got there, you know, about <laughs> the safety of that uh, mm -hmm. of that town. But you know, that lake, mm -hmm. that was so good. Yeah. Mm. This is, um, I never see the, um, what do you call that, redwood tree? Mm -hmm. <coughs> In Mexico. Mm -hmm. But this place is a redwood tree, mm -hmm. and it was a thousand years. Yeah. It was there. Look like somebody planned there. It's only that area. Mm -hmm. Some it looked like somebody planned there on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Like oh, look at the birds, Lori. Oh, <laughs> love bird. Come on. <laughs> That's where you drop the poop on my floor. I have to <laughs> clean every day. <laughs> <laughs> you want some meat? Want something to eat? Come on. Come on over. Come on over. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I like about sitting here. We mm -hmm. can see the birds, and they mm -hmm. can see us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the other day, was a fly in to the kitchen. I said, "Well, where you wanna go?" And he fly into my bedroom. <laughs> and I said, "Okay, wait a minute. You couldn't find the way to go out. Okay, mm -hmm. I go open the door and then he go flew out." Okay. <laughs> out your back door. <laughs> On the back door. Yeah. Okay. So he came all the way through the house. To yeah, she came this way, <laughs> but he cannot come out this way. <laughs> wanna go that way because I'm was here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well. Mm -hmm. I picked up the mail mm -hmm. the other day. Mm. <laughs> I I wait. Mm. It's you know maybe a month before I pick it up because I figure no news is good news. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if I don't know about it, mm -hmm. but I've got a well, in fact, it's right here. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah. I got a stack of mail <laughs> right here. Mm -hmm. I've got to go through, mm. and uh, hey, who knows? Maybe we won the sweepstakes. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but but. Okay, honey. Thanks. Okay. You're Sounds welcome. Good. Now, if by chance next week I don't have a video, you know I made a mistake and <laughs> I shouldn't have come here. <laughs>Let me tell you about the myth of this tree. It's 1100 years old, as it's been told to us, and 
they say if you hug it that's what we were doing we were hugging it and it'll take away all the impurities all of the uh, uh, ailments that you have and you'll live a happy life and maybe even more prosperous so we're, hey let's go back and hug it again Lori come okay. on let's, let's hug it again just in case we didn't do it right the first time. <laughs> wow, we in the park to make guaro here in Mexico. It is called Zamora. And what it is, it is the natural springs. There's a lake here. And look at these beautiful, looks like mangrove trees in here. It's just, and the water is crystal, crystal clear. I don't know if it's very warm. I see the kids swimming in there and they have some masks and snorkels. They're just having a ball here. This is so beautiful. It is a national park. So if you get to this part of Mexico, definitely come and visit it. When you come to the national park here, Plan to spend at least two to three hours and definitely go on a boat ride here. The boat ride costs between 300 pesos to 500 pesos, depending how long you go. We took the extended one for 500 pesos. <laughs> this mango is so sweet. I can't believe it. What do you have, Lori? I have corn on the car, baki corn. It's so good, so fresh. Like you just pick it up from the farm and barbecue right away. It's so good. Mm. Looks like mm. you finished it all. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can't leave a piece. <laughs> you guys want a bite? <laughs> the National Park is 10 kilometers east of Zamora. It is 10 hectares large and it is fed by natural spring water. After we've come here, we start to explore. There's so many beautiful churches, little streets, little walking things. It is beautiful. Let's take a look at the map here. So we left from the Chapala Ahihik area, came up like this towards Guadalajara, and then we came straight down 15D, which is a quota, a payroll, and then we came into Zamora. So now I'll give you a distance here. From here to here, was two hours and it was 175 kilometers, about 115 miles for this run through here. Zamora has these beautiful churches in a very small compact area. Figure about a quarter of a mile square. You'll see over 25 beautiful cathedrals. Here, we just stepped out of this particular cathedral and we wanna take you over and let you view the inside. This particular one is over 300 years old. It is so big and beautiful. The size of it, I mean, let's glance up and go all the way up to the top and look at this beautiful, beautiful construction that is, again, think how many years it is. Now let's step inside. This is a very simple design. It doesn't have all that silver and gaudiness that some of them have very peaceful, relaxing. I'm glad to share it with you. Tune, at the end of the video, I have two programs that'll help you to transition into Mexico very easily and effortlessly, a soft landing into Mexico. Lori can hardly contain herself standing in front of the tallest cathedral in Mexico. It is over 1,007 feet high. It's almost a wonder of the world in itself. It's such a beautiful structure. So when you come to Zamora, definitely you want to step into here and see the inside of it. You'll be surprised and amazed how beautiful it is.
we've come here. We're gonna stay two nights. We've got our hotel already and we've started to explore. So we're excited to show you. When we travel, we don't go out and we don't make reservations in advance. We come to an area. We like to be in the central area like we are here. And we've got a hotel, it has parking. We can walk around to everything. Lori here and welcome to our hotel room. Here is a two bed. This is in Zamora, Michoacan, Mexico. And the room is cost us 900 peso, equal to about $45 US. So we have two single bed here. One TV. Welcome. So typically we come into a town and we don't make hotel reservations. We like to come to a hotel and we like to ask for two queen size beds would be the best thing. But uh, in this particular case, they didn't have it. So we decided that two singles would be fine. The other thing that we like is we like to have parking so this hotel gives us parking and uh, a breakfast for that included. So not bad. Well, come to the main plaza here to relax, hear the fountain, the sound of the water, relax underneath the shade trees. If it's hot here, it's very refreshing. Also, it's a great place to do people watching and just sitting and enjoying the culture of Mexico. The other thing I wanna take you into now is the Mercado. This is a historical building and it is filled with sweets and delicious sweet treats. Come in and enjoy the sweets. So this was a very small Mercado there but it's the original one and the exterior architecture, just beautiful in Europe. But what we're gonna take it, we're gonna take you over where it's the real Mercado, the real street food, the uh, vendors there selling fruits and vegetables, just about everything. Let's go over there now. Every town we go to, you always have to see the fabric, don't you? Oh, it's my favorite store, you know. I always want to see it. I buy or not buy because I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Just coming in makes you happy, huh? Yeah. Look at this. Make Cambodia close. <laughs> Cambodia close in Mexico. Cambodia close in Mexico. It's so beautiful, right here. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at this one, look at this one, look at this one, look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a Chinese. But why it's so hard? Look at that. Make a Chinese clothes. <laughs> this gentleman is actually blind. I didn't realize that. I thought he was just homeless. And uh, he's blind, so uh, I mean, that's touching. 
He wasn't begging, he just was walking and I felt the urge to pay it forward and give him a Lori and I would like to interrupt this little video. People ask us how they can give us a tip, a little something for their gratitude for the work that we put and give them. Well, I have a simple formula. At the bottom of the video, in the description area, you can see that now, it'll have a little icon that'll say, thanks. There's a dollar sign, it'll say thank. If you click on it, you can give us a little bit in the tip jar, and we'd appreciate that. Well, let's continue on exploring the beautiful city here. We're gonna walk over to the palace. This is a beautiful building that was created for the governor as the palace in the area. Today, it is actually the city hall. It is an area where people can come and they can pay their property taxes, they can get building permits, any activities that you would need in a government building. But let's step inside, let's visualize if we can, stepping back in time when it was a palace. The beautiful staircase coming down, the rooms up on top, possibly bedrooms, sitting areas. And of course, because it was a palace, it was meeting for dignitaries around the world so they would have their conferences and their meeting here. Don't be afraid of Mexico. It's safe, even if they say it's the most dangerous place to come. We don't buy into that theory. Well, this town is gorgeous. I never see that it's nice and clean. The street was so clean and the people were so nice. You know, when you walk across the street, the car will stop let you go and the people give you direction. It was so wonderful. Yeah. I'm very happy I choose to come to visit this town. Yeah, we're very happy. So, If you are actually really serious about coming and living in Mexico, I have two programs that will assist you. You'll have an easy transition living in Mexico or visiting in Mexico. One of the programs is a phone consultation. At the end of the video, there's a box that says book. Touch on it, it'll send you to a booking site. The other one that I offer is Welcome to Lake Chapala, where I will spend one full day with you, taking you around in my car and showing you all of the areas, areas of housing and renting, doctors, medical care, the different villages, the different types of entertainments here, restaurant. It's a beautiful service. I offer that to you also.